so hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss the problem b of today's contest points of plane so the question states that you are given the two dimension plane and you need to place n chips on it you can place a chip only at a point with integer coordinates the cost of placing a chip at point x y is equal to mod of x plus mod of y the cost of placing n chips is equal to the maximum among the cost of each chip you need to place n chips on a plane in such a way that the euclidean distance between each pair of chips is strictly greater than one and the cost is the minimum possible so we are given few uh, sample input 1 3 and 5 and corresponding outputs so let us see how we can solve the problem so i have made a grid here suppose this is our center point this is suppose 0 comma 0 So now if you want to place another chips on that particular grid so we can't place here 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 so for one we know the answer is going to be zero because mod zero plus mod zero it is zero because we have placed the first chip on center so what we can do to place another chips as these four corners this 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 will share its adjacent side so we are forced to not place this chip so optimally we can put another chips here 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 and here right because all we have the distance or the cost equal to two right yeah and for cost equal to 2 we have another points this this is also how cost equal to 2 this will also have cost equal to 2 this point will also have cost equal to 2 this also point have cost equal to 2 all these points have cost equal to 2 right so the structure look like this so how many uh, chips we can play for cost equal to 2 here in this horizontal line we have place 1 here we have place 2 in this line we have place 3 here also we have place 1 right so again we will see for next layer for n equal means if we want to have cost equal to 3 so how many chips we can place so we can increase this particular pattern so cost three we can place so we will make another grid here i will select a line for making a grid we will make some bigger line because it will contain a lot of points you can skip this part in this video or move forward because it's take some time yeah so now this is our center 0 comma 0 right so for having cost equal to 3 we can place all the chips at distance 3 so 1 2 and 3 here we can place this is also our coordinate where we can place our chips 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 these two points will also be our answer and 1 2 3 1 2 3 similarly the structure will go downwards here we will put 2 here we will put 2 
here for travel point similarly this point can also be utilized and this point can also be utilized so this is the and this point and this point so this is the structure for n equal to 3 so how many chips we have uh, put for maximum number of chips we have put for getting a cost equal to 3 so he in this horizontal line we have put 1 here we have put 2 here we have put 3 here we have put Oh, here we have put three here we have put two and we here we have put one so you can see a pattern here right so what here we are getting so for having a cost equal to x so how many chips we can put so here if we have want to have a cost equal to three we have put one two three from here and here we have put one two three here and four here so it is just like if you want to have cost equal to x so we can put this much which is equal to x into x plus one by two which is two times this one also it is two times plus this n plus one or x plus one right so this two and two get cancelled out and if we take x plus one common so it will become x plus one whole square so what does it signifies so it it just signifies that if you want to have cost equal to x so the maximum number of potatoes it, it can acquire is x plus 1 square so if we have if we are given n and if it is asking that what will be the minimum cost for putting n on this infinite grid so we can use binary search here what we can do we can initialize to variables l equal to 0 and h equal to the maximum value which is 1 in 9 and find a mid which is l plus i by 2 and in the check function what we can check whether this particular mid value is able to yeah so we are seeing whether this this meet is actually the cost and we are checking whether this uh, cost can acquire this much number of uh, means n n number of uh, chips or not if and how many can acquire it can acquire mid plus one whole square number of chips we will check whether mid plus one whole square is greater than equal to n or not this is the condition if in this condition we are just finding whether the particular cost uh, can acquire that much particular number of chips or not if this is true then we will decrement our edge otherwise if uh, it can acquire n number of chips then we will increment l i will show you my code so it can get pretty clear yeah this is a simple code to file and code i have taken n as input and initialize two variables l equal to 0 and h equal to 1 in 9 and in the loop i have initialized a mid which denotes that whether uh, n number of chips can have a cost equal to mid or not it will have cost equal to mid only if uh, this cost can acquire mid plus one whole square number of chips if it is greater than equal to n then definitely it can have this particular cost and we can put this number of chips to have 
that number of that cost if it is acquiring that number of chips then we will decrement our h otherwise we will increment our l and we will return l so this was all about the solution of this problem if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will definitely answer each comment and subscribe to my channel if you like solution of this contest in the future thank you